Board. We begin tonight with a proposal to ban Mylar balloons. A state lawmaker says that type of balloon causes too many power outages. News Channel 3's Tracy Laird joins us live from Santa Barbara. And Tracy, that ban could take effect in 2018. That's right, CJ, and balloons like this one are big business, especially this time of year. And when you talk about it to people that sell them, it would be a major letdown if this bill became a law. Pacific Gas and Electric blames a Santa Maria power outage last November on a Mylar balloon. Similar outages caused by balloons getting stuck in power lines inspired Hayward Assembly member Bill Quirk to author a Mylar balloon ban bill. The National Balloon Council reacted by releasing this video. At a time when party stores are filling graduation balloons, the bill gives operators a sinking feeling. It would greatly affect the, the employees here as we would um, lose 33% of our revenue. Some customers say it's time to bury power lines. Others say the Mylar balloon ban may work to prevent outages in the interim. And I suppose if they're causing trouble, I'd rather not have those. You can have regular balloons. So, so you'd be okay with the ban? Yeah. They also have environmental concerns about regular helium balloons. Somehow, you know, causing issues uh, just by polluting, you know, just by letting these things, hundreds and hundreds or maybe thousands of them, uh, ending up in the ocean. The balloon ban bill won't impact this grad season. It's only headed to a hearing this month. And when it's windy like this, you can see how easy it would be for them to fly away. But I tied one to a mug. You can tie it to a weight as well to keep a hold of it. In Santa Barbara, Tracy Lair, News Channel 3. All right. Thank you, Tracy. A dramatic.